Good morning. Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. My name is Mike. Oh, I am up bright and early before the crow flies. Got a lot of work to get done today. I spent about 12 hours the day before yesterday getting the walls ready, getting them finished, and then I spent about nine hours working yesterday cutting cedar, uh, putting that up, and <laughs> You know, didn't even get finished with the walls. So today, hopefully, we'll finish the walls and get get the rest of the cedar up. I know that's a tall order, but that's what I'm hoping for because I want to be ready to go buy flooring Monday. As long as it ain't a holiday. I don't think it's a holiday. Nope. So that's what's been going on. Other than that, it's just an utter mess in here trying to walk around all my construction. Uh, tables, the dining room tables in the kitchen and hard to get into the drawer to get silverware, all that stuff. So it's not easy doing construction or remodel when you're living in the same place. So, but at least I try to keep the office clear. So I can duck in here, uh, get out of the way of all that. I got to sneeze. All right. I had to pause you for a minute so I could sneeze. I need a cup of coffee is what I need. Ah. Yeah, working with uh, cedar from the sawmill, you, there's a process to each board. I got to pull it out of the shed. That's where I got them stored. And then you got to cut one end off because it's never, they're never straight from the sawmill. Um get that square then i run it through the table saw on each end lengthwise get a nice square edge then you cut whatever you need to length and then you take a little whisk broom and you got to get all the sawdust off of it because it comes with sawdust it's already on it and it smells strong and i don't normally smell the cedar in here because I've been used to it for so many years, but when you get new cedar, it's overpowering. But it smells good, but it's just overpowering. And it'll take a while. Uh, it's a reddish, more reddish color when it's new. So after about six months to a year, it'll fade to what, what the rest of the cedar in the house looks like. Uh, I actually did my front porch with cedar and it looked beautiful when it was first done but then after about a year out in the sun it turns starts to turn you know it, it's not going bad it just fades so then i painted it black because a faded you know unless the rest of the house was ancient looking it, it didn't look good so i painted it black and it really looks good actually pay uh, cedar is very easy to paint uh, it'll absorb a little bit in the beginning, but it'll hold paint and still keeps its qualities. Uh, the paint doesn't seem to chip off as easy as it would anything else. So I'm going to be busy for today. What is today? Saturday. So I got a full day of working. And then tomorrow is Sunday. Hopefully I can get it all finished up and then start laying floor by the, the beginning of next week. I'm not looking forward to that at all, but it has to get done because I need to get things put back in place and man, it's just, it's chaos here. Chaos, I tell you. And we had storms the other night. I don't know. I went to bed, at, I think around 11. I couldn't stay up anymore, man. When I'm working all day, I'm tired and we got very small hail here compared to what a lot of people around here got. Some of them got baseball size, just not, not far from here. But I am glad I bought the carport, man. And the weather each year seems to get worse and worse and worse. The storms get crazy. I mean crazy. Um, we had a ton of rain. I mean, it was coming down like crazy. And it did, doesn't seem like the waters, uh, since the carport went up, it's kind of deflecting that area. And I think that helped because what it's doing is all the water in the back, it's allowing that to drain out 
a lot easier because it's not, I don't, it's still getting water. But where it's coming down on one side is right over the uh, French drain. And then on the other side, it's where it's coming down, you know, it's pitched like this. But on this side, it's just going straight downhill. So I think putting that carport there made one heck of a difference because it's not pulling up at all where that area in that area where the carport is and that's where the water used to do that so hopefully i've cured that problem didn't get one drop of water in the dog apartment didn't get one drop of water in um in the screen patio and that's good but i still do got, got plans to put a piece of guttering up there where the roof from the screen patio you know drains out that way but hopefully all that work has made the difference. Uh, it's not easy living on a slope because <laughs> the property is like, I'm on like one big, you know, hill. At the top of the hill and then the back of the property goes down, the front of the property goes down and I'm up here at the top. But I do have like some swales that go down towards the cabin. Hey, I didn't design the place, but I just gotta fix the issues. And putting in the French drain helped a lot. Uh, there's a few more things that can be done. Uh, we'll see. Uh, just each storm, you just got to watch it. And we had quite a bit of rain and didn't have any issues. So, so anyway, anyway, I had a solution. Uh, actually, a subscriber uh, suggested this. I didn't know you. I mean, I, I don't know why I didn't think of it. You know, I, I kind of knew you could do this, but for my security cameras, I'm not going to be moving all the wires for the cameras. I bought a splitter and 50 foot of HDMI cable. And so today I got to before I put on the cedar on the ceiling, I'm going to try to fish that HDMI cable across over to the new office so I can leave the system where it is here. Without having to move all them cables and then still project the image to the other monitor out, out there. Because that will save me a whole lot of work. And I bought a adapter where you can plug it into this and you can plug in four other TVs if you want to. It's just wired. You know, they do have an HDMI wireless uh, that you can plug into your security unit. But I read the reviews. They don't go through rooms. Uh, they have to have a direct line of sight and the thing was 119 bucks So I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on something that may or may not work. So I, I went the wired route uh, HDMI cable wasn't that expensive uh, I'd rather run one cable around the house if I have to I got enough to do that than run eight eight wires um, cause that's how many cameras are out there. So we're going to try that out. Uh, I've already got the spot where I want to put a monitor. I'm going to take that big TV out of the, uh, new building, hang that up. And that's going to be my monitor. So I can see that when I'm at nighttime where I sleep in my recliner. Yes, I sleep in a recliner. I don't sleep in a bed anymore. I get the best night's sleep I've ever had in a recliner. Believe it. Yep. Sometimes people you got to think outside the box and quit trying to be like the other person We all model our lives after each other And so for like a week I slept in my recliner and I started to notice my back felt better. I could sleep better. I could breathe better so There's nothing in the Bible that says you got to sleep in a bed Think about it but I get a great night, so I don't know how I jumped off on this subject, but I get a great night, and I've been sleeping in that about two and a half years now. Get a great night's sleep, hardly ever wake up. Uh, my back feels a whole lot better since I sleep, you know, because you're reclined. And the weight's kind of off your spine, but you're, you're in a good position, you, you know. When you sleep in a bed, you're all over the place. And I did try when I had the bed. I don't even have a bed anymore. But when I had it, I tried laying in there and sleeping one night. It was the worst sleep I had gotten in, in years. So that is the problem with our society. 
We got to stay, you know, we do what everybody else does. Oh, they got a stainless steel refrigerator. I got to get a stainless steel refrigerator. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just because your neighbor sleeps in a bed, don't mean you got to sleep in a bed. Try something else. And if you Google that, read about sleeping in a recliner, most doctors highly recommend that. You know, but people are afraid. Oh, you got to sleep in a bedroom. You got to sleep in a bed. No, you don't. You can sleep in your kitchen. It don't matter. As long as you get a good night's sleep. Right? Right. So quit. That one thing in society that really irritates me is how, I mean, you watch videos of people walking around in a mall. They all look the same. They're all wearing the same hairdos, wearing the same clothes. Um, quit being... Start being something and quit blah blah blah, blah let's see. Can't even talk. It irritates me. That's one of the reasons I live like I do. You know, I don't want to be like everyone else. I don't want to go to concerts. I don't want to go to weddings. I don't want to do stuff like that. I want to do what I want to do. And that's what life's about. Think about it. Yep. I guess I've rambled enough. I've got to get busy. And the only thing I don't like about the time change is it doesn't get light till like 8 o'clock in the morning. But I do got to run the town for a minute. Uh, no, I really don't. Probably won't. But anyway, guys, if you've seen in the beginning of this video, I have been busy. And we got some cedar on the wall. It's looking good. Watch. I'm uh, probably not going to put a video out today either. Uh, it's... It takes a lot of time to make a video when you're working. And right now, I need I need to get work done so I can get a floor in because I'm tired of all the clutter and tripping over things. That's not good. So we'll keep an eye out. Probably put a video out tomorrow on the other channel or maybe this channel. You never know. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.